Yeah, have you seen like Lizzo with that little bag? That's the energy I feel with this bag. Like, I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> What's up, you sexy motherfucking jack o' lanterns? Welcome back to my Wonderland. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jesus Alejandro Solis. Welcome to my Wonderland. As you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be doing a What's in My Bag video. Um, the reason why I wanna do that is because I just came home from my trip to Miami. Vlogs are coming very freaking soon. It's literally 12.52, almost 1 a.m. And I don't know, I wanted to film this while I was over there, but then I also um, had ordered something else. And as you can tell by the title, it's gonna be an unboxing of the Foyar Raven Konkin Mini. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. I'm not gonna go too in depth on how you say it. I feel like each and every video that I see is always like, I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong. I am sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong, but I feel like I'm saying it close to right. Maybe not the exact way, but I think it's pretty, pretty close. So for Yari Van Konkin, not even mini, it's the sling. I'm really sorry about that. I wanted to do a What's in My Bag video because this is the bag that I pretty much used when I was in Miami, I took it everywhere because it just went with my outfit. Um, if you guys are wondering where I got this from, I ordered it from Wish. Um, it's liter It was literally so cheap, it was like six bucks. And I thought it was such a statement because it's such like a utility style little bag. And it's clear and it's white with straps. Hold on. So yeah, I want to do this video. I wanted like the beauty guru in me to like come out. So that's why I'm doing this video. And I think it's such a cute little bag. I'll try to link it down below if I can find the link. It's on Wish though. Pretty sure you can find tons of different kinds of little bags like that but yeah i'll try to link that below should i do this and then do the unboxing or don't know how to do this see this is where the beauty guru in me doesn't know what to do because like don't know where to start also if i look like shit, i'm really sorry i think i'll start with what's in my bag and then i'll do the unboxing and then i'll like show you guys um me putting it in because that's the reason why i want to do this video now they didn't clean out anything i literally just got home i'm telling you i just got home as soon as i like said hey to my mom and my little sister i literally came straight to my room my room is a mess right now i'm about to unpack but whatever and i'm just gonna do this now it's so random like i would take stuff out and put stuff in as like each in different trips that i was in miami this is a close-up of the bag how it looks um i guess i'll start with what's on the outside i have this little thing clipped on it it's just my little fish eye lens that you clip onto your phone you can get it at Dollar Tree right here it comes with this little pouch and inside of it I put my white bandana just if I wanted to like you know put it on and like if my hair was ever like going down and stuff I had it there and behind it I actually put some um, little alcohol wipes just like so I can clean myself and like those come in really handy especially now with COVID and everything even then like if COVID didn't exist I'd probably still have them in there because I hate feeling like my hands feeling dirty or some shit you know what I mean I'll show you guys what it looks like on so simple yet so cute and like it's just like very utility style-esque and just my vibe and my aesthetic to be honest and because I had a lot of white clothing I think it just went with it and I think bags and accessories such as jewelry and stuff can bring your outfit like looks so much um, better it can make us look so much better and yeah that's the big reason why i bought it and i had finally used it on my trip to miami i had never used it before that like i just wanted to save it for a good moment in my life to finally use this bag and actually take pictures in it and i ended up taking pictures with it like in all my pictures in miami so yeah this is the first thing i get out it looks very weird um but it's just lotion um i got this little bottle from Walmart and the lotion is the I forget what brand is it but it's like the hemp lotion I, I did an unboxing for it a while back because it's so good I was influenced by Alicia Marie to buy it so I finally bought it because it smells so good it's a little too sweet um, but I like it I might try a different scent next time next thing I have is this little deodorant I carried this everywhere because girl it's hot as fuck in Miami mmm smells so good and you know you just always gotta put that on like you can never you can never be too too sure you know what i'm saying like i'm not trying to be musty especially in miami you know like everyone's gonna judge you and shit why is my chain fucking up anyways then the next thing i have is this little mini hairspray if you know anything about me you know i carry this every single where i go everywhere i go you guys you know like just when you need it it's there you know what i mean um, I, right now my hair is a mess, obviously, but to each his own. Then I have this. This is a lifesaver. My face gets oily as fuck, especially when it's hot as fuck. This is a must-have in my bag. Like, 
I, you know, it's just my this oil absorbing sheets. Get this brand is literally the same as the um, other brand. It's a lot cheaper though, and you get a lot more in these. So definitely recommend that one. Then I have my AirPods. I carry these everywhere. Low key though, my AirPods are starting to fuck up. Like this one specifically. This one is still okay. Like the right um, AirPod is still good, but this one is not. And I paid so much money for these. You would have thought that they would last me long. And I actually take care of them. So I don't know what's wrong with my AirPod. Apple explain yourself then i have a pocket knife because you don't never know who the fuck you need to i literally almost stabbed myself i'm not kidding you don't know who the fuck you need to stab whenever some bitch gets crazy i can get crazy too don't forget i come from tallahassee florida bitch i'll stab your ass quincy florida at that per um ciao anyway so anyways yeah if a bitch ever wants to get crazy with me don't then i have hand sanitizer this is a must-have even before COVID, I carry this everywhere. I'm pretty sure I carried all of this everywhere before COVID, especially this. Like, if you you don't carry hand sanitizer with you, I, I don't trust you because, you know, like, just grow up. Get a hand sanitizer. Don't be dirty. Then I have a lighter for reasons. You know what I mean. Then I have hot sauce in my bag, swag. I have this little sriracha packet. It's my little emergency one. Wherever I really, really need sriracha, I'll have it. Like, I'll... I'm saving it for a time where I really need it. It's from Starbucks, the Starbucks um, Sriracha. It's just an extra one I have. Um, then I have my lip balm. This is also something I have to take everywhere. I had literally lost it before I went on my trip and I was like looking for it crazily because I had a different one but it was starting to run out and I was like, I need my new one. Like I need it or else I'm gonna go crazy. Like I could always buy a new one but like I already had one. I didn't wanna buy another one, you know what I mean? Because I already had it so I found it. Here it is. Let me put some on because my lips are usually very fucking chopped and I always have to like look at that when I'm editing. Also, don't mind the dust. The last thing I can find in here is this little salt and pepper thing. This is usually not in there, honestly. Like, I think I just probably fell in there. But that's pretty much it. That's all that's in the bag. Purr. So yeah, now we're going to go to the unboxing of my new Foyarvan Konkin sling backpack. I got it in the color black, um, if you're wondering. So yeah, Purr. Oh my god, it's so pretty. If I would have waited, I could have probably bought one in Urban Outfitters when I went to Miami, but there wasn't any in black, so good thing I kind of ordered it either way. Here it goes. This is what it looks like. It's literally small. Like, I mean, I had already seen it at Urban Outfitters. If you're here because this is recommended to you, I'm pretty sure you have seen multiple of these, and I feel you because literally, as soon as I ordered it, I had to go look like at unboxings and what's in my bag videos for this bag because I fell in love with it. Um, this is pretty new. I think it came out this year, if I'm not mistaken. And when it first came out, I was like, I was like, eh, I don't really like need it. It's like I already have the mini. But then, like, the more that I think about it, it's like, I am starting to get into, like, sling backpacks. So, I was like, you know what? This is literally my aesthetic, like, my, like, shit, you know what I mean? Like, a backpack that I actually, like, feel connected to or, like, a brand that I feel connected to. So, good thing that I got this. These are expensive, honestly, and for the little bit of fabric, like, literally, it's the size of my head. Just for reference, if you don't know what the size of my head is, I really don't know either. But, it's just for reference. It's literally so small. So, yeah. Just look at that. Like, it's just so cute. Like, period, bitch. Like, oh. Yeah, have you seen, like, Lizzo with that little bag? That's the energy I feel with this bag. Like, I'm a bad bitch. Like, what's gonna fit in here? The fucks I give. Pure. Why are men great till they gotta be great? The for you. If you know anything about me, I'm obsessed with backpacks. I've been obsessed with bags since I was a little kid. Like, my family got annoyed of my addiction to backpacks. Anywhere I could go to buy a nice little backpack, I buy it. Like, it's specifically like little backpacks. Always been obsessed with them. So, yeah, I don't know. It's just an addiction I have. I think this is an obsession that doesn't hurt anyone. This is gonna look so cute in my outfits, period. I wish I would have had it in Miami, but literally, like, I left the day before it got here so it's just a little rough when you first get it obviously it's just normal for these bags honestly at this point so for reference this is like the 13 inch laptop for Yarvin Kankin with like the padded straps so that's for reference it's literally so small it's literally the size kind of, of like the front pocket so yeah that's for reference for reference with the mini um i have the ochre mini so yeah my cousin bought me this 
two Christmases ago. Shout out to Jose. Literally, it was like one of the best gifts. Not because it's materialistic, but just like it was just such a good gift that year. I'm telling you guys, I'm obsessed with these backpacks. And low key, the bags seemed a little bigger in the videos, but no, like please make sure you look at the um, videos good because like I was like, you know what? They looked like a good amount of size. I, I didn't think it'd be a lot, lot smaller than the mini, but in each of the videos, I kept hearing them say that um. It's a lot smaller than they expected and low-key they're right. Like you have to actually see it with your eyes. But yeah, I'm put my chapstick and my lighter in here. Period. Period. And that's literally about all that will fit in there. These pockets, literally nothing can fit in there but a pen maybe, which I might put in there. But my pocket knife will fit perfect in there. This is what's perfect about it. It kind of has like a back pocket like the laptop ones do. Oh, I forgot about this. And you know, your phone will fit perfectly in there. I also carry this what um this little water bottle inside here it actually fits like perfectly. I'm so happy that it fits in there because now I can like actually take my little water bottle with me and you know just drink water whenever I want some. I always carry this as well, but I didn't carry this when I went out in Miami, but now it actually fits in there. So basically chapstick is in here my lighter as well then my pocket knife is right here in this little side pocket right here i put my water bottle my body spray and my little oil blotting sheets my hand sanitizer i'm gonna put in my hairspray of course my wallet just goes in there and period everything just fits in there nice and snuggly it's obviously a lot more bulkier than my last one it's a lot flatter but i mean i do have more in here now because my phone usually just went in my pocket and my wallet as well sometimes but now everything is so much better like i love this so much and since most of my clothes is very much black and white and maybe a few color this would just go a lot better with everything so that's why i decided to go in black that's the unboxing for my little for your ivan kankin sling backpack it's really cute would recommend you get one if you're into these backpacks and you're considering it and if you need a sign to finally buy one this is your sign bitch go get you one right now per we can match if you get black or you get a different color get it your style be your own kind of bitch you know what i'm saying but period i just want with black because it's as dark as my soul period. but yeah i'm literally so tired i need to shut the fuck up but yeah thank you so much for watching you guys again my miami vlogs are coming very freaking soon sooner than you think i think i hope and yeah make sure you go subscribe to my vlog channel it will be linked down below as well as at the end of this video i believe and also follow me on all my social media it's pretty much jesus alex elise everywhere except twitter is elise alex jesus also i have a podcast if you guys want to go subscribe to the podcast it's boba talk on spotify and apple Podcasts. make sure you go listen to it new podcast episodes coming soon as well i need to get back on my grind on that actually i, I took a huge break but i'm coming back for y'all bitches pure pure bitch pure I'm excited, um, there's so much in the works, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you sexy motherfucking jack-o'-lanterns next time in Wonderland, bye!